Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Rishav and I'm here again with another video on the HTML, CSS and Bootstrap CDs. Okay, so first I go to D drive where I created this folder HTML and CSS and then again go to the navbar folder and first I do one thing I just rename the navbar folder okay so I again go to HTML and CSS folder press F2 to rename this and type reshove hacks here because we are creating a website for reshove hacks okay so I again open this and here you will see there are three files that we have created earlier okay so here we just right click and go to open with code to open our VS code in this folder okay so our VS code is opening and here you see the welcome screen we don't need that welcome screen so I close this and then again click on index.html to open our HTML file okay so here you see index.html and I go to nav.css and it is empty because we didn't write any code in nav.css so here I link the nav.css file to our HTML file. Here you see with this line of code link href dot means folder slash nav.css which is present in our reshove hacks folder. Okay here and rel style sheet. Okay because it is CSS file. So I write this line and link our CSS file with HTML so that we whenever write code in CSS the changes are reflected in our website okay so in previous video we learned about how to make navbar you can watch the video if you just missed that video and here it is the code for the search box okay so we make some changes first of all we have to right click and open with live server to see our output or you can just press here go live button and your server is started so here in my browser, edge browser, you are seeing that navbar is appearing here on top and here is the search bar in which we can write and if we click on cross it disappears. Here you will see the search button and uh, here these are the items ok. So we go to again VS code editor and uh, I just uh, place the window side by side ok and here you see the code ok. So first we change some text here ok so I scroll and here you will see the title is document so first I set the title to Rishav hacks ok so I remove this document text and place Rishav hacks here ok and now I go to file and save this and when you save you will see the changes in website it is changed to Rishav hacks ok so now I scroll down and uh, here I change the H to capital that looks more good because it is our brand name so I make the H capital now you will see there is a hamburger menu but uh, when we click on this nothing happens because the functionality is written in JavaScript file and we didn't link our JavaScript files to our website that's why it is not working so we will make it work later ok so here is the CSS scripts and we didn't add the JavaScript so I even maximize this everything is perfect fine so we will do it later now I change the home about and help so I just type home in caps ok that looks more attractive so I again change the text about to capital about and then I change this help to Instagram because many of my subscribers need to contact me so if I type Instagram here and link it to my Instagram then they can find me easily okay so I just type Instagram here now I move to the button code first of all here you will see the color is dark outline dark okay so you see here it is not visible properly because of blue color ok so we again go to code and here first of all you will see placeholder placeholder is used to give the text hint and uh, here is the type there are different types of input so here we give type search and here is the button which is of type submit ok 
so now I go to file and save this file and again came to our browser and here you will see everything is in capital now and here is the brand name and here is the button okay so I again maximize my VS code and now you can see properly what changes I have made okay so I go to this empty space and remove this space okay we don't need this space and I can make a comment here so for making a comment you have to type like this angular bracket exclamation double dash type your text and again double dash and close the angular bracket okay so here is the form ending and here is the div ending here is the div ending here is the navigation bar ending and this is our header ending in header we place our navigation bar so now I make a section okay so I type section close this and this is section tag and now here I will make a banner okay so first of all I write text simple reshub hacks and save this and show you where it will appear in our website and uh, I go to edge browser and here you will see the text is below the navigation bar because we place it in section so now we place our banner here in section so I make a div here very quickly so I type div and uh, in div we give a class so I write here first of all I zoom and give a space here and write class and in class I type banner okay and then I remove the extra space and then go to the nav.css okay now here I will teach you how you can add custom CSS to your website okay so I just type dot banner to target the banner class okay and now I type width and here I give 100% okay so it will cover the whole width okay and uh, now I type height and I give it to 500 pixels so that it will go down to 500 pixel now I type position and set the position to fixed okay so that it will not move when we scroll now I type top okay so I will give some 100 pixel here to get the space from top now I set background color to black so that the box is appearing in black color so now I type background and here I select size background size to cover so that it will cover the background size now I type here background position and give it center so that it will place in center now I again go to file and save the file and go to index.html now I again save this index.html and now I go to edge browser and see the changes and here you will see it will take the 100 top 100 px top but it covers the whole screen because we give 500 pixels the height so we change the height and uh, here in height property I type 250 pixels okay so it will decrease the height so I type 250 and now I again go to file now go to save now again go to edge browser and here you will see this size is perfect but we don't need this top so I will remove the top so I again go to dot banner class and here I will remove this top property and again go to file and save now you will see when I open my edge browser the top is removed and here it is set so now I change the color of background color to background image and I set a image there so I remove this black color until here and give a dash and choose background image and here I type URL to give the location so I type URL and in URL we have to select the image but image is not available in our folder so first I copy paste the image in our reshub hacks website folder so I save this file and now I go to edge browser we remove the black color that's why it is not visible here 
so i have an image on my desktop which is name cover so i cut control plus x and go to our files drive and here in html and css folder in Reef sub hacks website folder i place it here so i press control v and then i now go to code so i open my vs code again and give the location so remove this slash and again give it so that it gives me suggestion and now i choose cover.jpg now go to file save now again go to our browser and here our banner appears okay so this is for today only i show you how you can set these things but i actually don't like the blue color so i change the nav bar color primary to color dark so i type dark here and uh, i type dark now i will choose file and save and again go to our edge browser and now it is looking so awesome okay but here is a problem we need to change the button color okay so i go to again vs code and uh, scroll down and here you see the type is search means it is search box here is the code for button so i change this dark to light okay so i just type light here and again go to our file and uh, save this file now i again move to edge browser now you will see the button outline is set to white means light color so now it is looking perfect now in next video we will see how we can set the links and uh, link other pages to our website so now subscribe my channel like this video share it with your friends and stay connected okay this is our code we just copy paste everything and change as per our needs okay so i add section here now i will sum it up i make this css and uh, i again go to index and link it here okay and make a div in bottom so this is all and we will get this banner this is so simple if you watch this video till here then you are really become a good developer <laughs> okay like me so now watch more videos of mine and don't forget to hit subscribe button bye bye take care